Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mommy Loves to Read. I'm Olivia and thank you for joining me today. So guys, happy Friday. Let's take a second and do like our Friday dance. We made it, we made it, hey, hey, we made it. I hope everyone had a fantastic, fabulous, flourishing Friday. I'm trying to think of F words, but in my class today, we were working on the letter D this week. So all day I've been trying to say like extra D words, you know, and now I'm trying to think of all these F words and my brain is like whoop, on shutdown mode. So guys, I just decided to come today and do a quick Friday reads with you guys. I haven't done one of these in a while because I've just been so busy. But today I had some time and so I was like, you know what? Let me hurry and film this before it gets really dark outside because it is like, I'm in Texas and our weather, they're supposed to be like, a ton of rain there's like a tropical storm or something coming i feel like every week we have some new natural disaster happening so yes so i'm excited because i will actually have some time to read this weekend um i'm off i guess my weekend turned into a three-day weekend because my kids daycare is actually closed on monday and so because of that i had to take the day off of work because the daycare is closed so i'm gonna stay home and so because of that i'm gonna have some extra time to read this weekend and so I am going to read. Um, my Friday reads is going to be really short. I'm only planning on trying to dive into one book, which I kind of started. Um, this book, I'm on page nine, so I'm not that far. But um, I am going to be working on reading a book by Toni Morrison. And it is Song of Solomon by Toni Morrison. Um, this book is actually really special to me, guys. I'm going to try not get super emotional. When I explain this to you, um, my grandmother actually passed away recently within like the last couple of months and so you know with all that's been going on one weekend we went to my grandparents house it's so weird because I still call it like my grandma's house and I feel like I'm just gonna say that forever because that's it's my grandma's house but yes yeah, so we went to my grandma's house to like spend the day with my grandpa and he cooked and like my mom and my brothers and sisters were there and I was there and my kids and my grandma has like this big back room that's just full of stuff and so I was in there looking for something, looking for like a purse that my grandpa wanted me to find. And when I opened the drawer, I actually saw this book. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I feel like this was meant for me to find. Like I love to read, but I never really talked to my grandmother about like books or anything. We talked about a lot of stuff. I really like to cook too. So she would always buy me like recipe books and things like that. I have a ton of recipe books that she has given me and ones that like she made me and stuff. Which, so I guess that does mean she was a reader. But I didn't know she was, like, a reader. And so when I saw this book, I felt like it was just like my grandma, like, looking down on me, giving me a big hug, and being like, I'm still here with you. So I'm really excited to read this book. Um, if you've ever read something by Toni Morrison, then you know her books are amazing. And I'm really, really excited to read this book. Um, one, because it was my grandma's, and I feel like it was just meant for me to find because... Me going to her house that day was not planned. My mom literally called me and was like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. And she was like, okay, you want to go? And I was like, okay, give me 30 minutes to get myself dressed and I'll head out that way. So yes, guys, this is, like I said, the only book that I'm going to be kind of working on this weekend besides reading books for school. So like I said, I hope everyone has a great weekend. I hope everyone had a fantastic Friday. Comment down below and let me know what you're reading this weekend. If you plan on reading anything um and just what your weekend plans are i'm also tomorrow supposed to have dinner with a friend so i'm really excited because i haven't like been anywhere like since august really all i've been doing was either going to work working on school work or taking care of my kids like me and my husband went on like one date night so i haven't been out with my friends in forever and so i'm really excited we haven't decided where we're going yet uh my only criteria is a place that's good and has good drinks so i mean hey i'm pretty simple right but yes, guys, thank you so much for joining me today on this video. And I just hope everyone has an awesome and an amazing weekend. And if you have not read this book, I think you should check it out. Like I said, I'm only nine pages in and it's really good. And if you have read this book, comment down below and let me know what you thought. Okay, guys, now I'm getting off because my daughter's calling me, which means she's going to bust through this door in any second. So have a great weekend. See you next time. Bye.